We heard that you applied and appeal with prisoners in central jail. I want you to share your experience. How did this go about? Well, um, yes. See, uh, 1970, uh, sorry, uh, the NLP was found in the year 1970 by Richard Bandler and Dr. Grinder. And it took almost 27 years to travel from America to India. But in 1997, Dr. Richard Bandler came to India. And before that, uh, maybe from the year of 92 itself, I was interested in uh, NLP. I used to fly to different parts of the world to know little bits of tidbits of NLP, little there, little there, here. But uh, in 1997, I think the 13th December 1997, when uh, Bandler completed his first program, where all the top trainers of India were together. All the top trainers of India were together uh, to learn what actually is NLP from straight from the horse's mouth. And I was one among uh, uh, them. And uh, I was uh, in charge of a practitioner group uh, from Hyderabad, a city in uh, India. So I used to conduct uh, this practice sessions. I used to do my own homework. I used to do the therapy sessions on myself on my friend, I used to interpret that. Because as a coordinator, I uh, I had to do a lot of homework in the process I got benefited. Uh, my practice group uh, became bigger and bigger. Initially it was in my house, then we, I went to the uh, floor, top floor in the apartment, then it became very big, then I had to go to uh, Indira Park, one of the biggest park at the time in uh, Hyderabad city. Um, so the pre-requirement uh, for doing an advanced program so we were told that the advanced program of NLP will be done in uh, Hollywood, Hollywood studios. Uh, and uh, the pre-requirement was we had to prove ourselves uh, by practicing it. NLP is not a training program, NLP is a practitioner's program. That means every NLP person has to practice, practice, practice and practice. If he is not practicing it, he is not an NLP. He can only talk theory, he is like an NLP teacher. So um, I had to do something and uh, at a very short time and uh, like many other youngsters at that age, we also dreamt of going to Hollywood. Uh, then I was thinking, why can't I do something? Uh, idea came to me that uh, why can't I do a, a sort of an application uh, to some group? Then I ha I heard about NLP working in, a, in every part of the world, but now I want to prove that it is working in my community, in my culture, in India. Okay. Uh, at the time, I uh, chose the prisoners of Central Jail. I talked to one of my friends who was a police commissioner, and uh, he was very happy. He told that many psychiatrists doesn't come to us, but you are trying to come and help the prisoner free of cost. And he welcomed us. It was a, a three months program, and I went and I. Uh, did it. Then um, the uh, when we talked on that, uh, it was a group awareness program we created for a few days, calling all the prisoners uh, to um, the central portion. There was a hospital in the jail, and there was also a doctor who was also on the under trial, and he coordinated. And uh, every day I was giving lectures on what is NLP and what debate can found out. And uh, at that time when we listed down the problems of the prisoners, uh, one of the problems which I selected was the sleeping disorders of the prisoners in Central Jail. That has become my thesis. Sleeping disorder, a study on the sleeping disorders of prisoners in Central Jail. And uh, we applied all the NLP techniques on them. And, um, a lot of programs are going on, some Swamiji program was going on, some yoga program was going on, some uh, new um, entrepreneurs program was going on uh, in that uh, central jail. And uh, the prisoners uh, where I went, they were from Hyderabad central jail and uh, they were very youngsters, very young group, maybe 25, and the average age is 30. I was really very sorry to see these prisoners. And uh, it was like my management training or engineer training, which I used to recruit when I was a general manager of uh, BHL Hyderabad. 
and uh, they were like management trainees, youngsters, uh, very educated, uh, were there and uh, they cooperated. Initially there was some uh, sort of, uh, all the groups did not come, but over uh, when they saw the result and the word spread in that small group, people started growing, coming one by one and it went a big group and we collected the data and we submitted it and later on it uh, became my thesis for my doctorate.